there are a number of cell layers in the retina and how visual information is processed is rather complex. From the rods and cones which perceive light, these photoreceptor cells then synapse with bipolar neurons in the next layer, as well as the horizontal cells which can be found here. Note that bipolar neurons and horizontal cells can synapse with a large number of rods, while a bipolar neuron may synapse with only one cone. This means that our perception of light at night is very sensitive because light stimulating any one of these rods will stimulate the bipolar cell. So it has expanded the field over which it can detect photons of light. However, this also means that at night vision is blurry because one cannot distinguish between photons which strike one rod versus another. The color vision which involves cones is much more precise because one does not see such a large number of cones synapsing with the same bipolar and horizontal cells. The information coming from the image perceived is then processed through a layer of ganglion cells with other cells known as amacrine cells also contributing and it is the axons of these ganglion cells which will then fuse to form the optic nerve which penetrates the retina and will then uh, cross at the optic chiasma and enter the brain as the optic tract.